yeah, buddy, that's not a, that's not a good look. <laughs> that can be a problem. Hey guys, it's Cece Devereaux and I'm coming to you with this video to talk about the pros and the cons of interlocking. I know, right? <laughs> so I like to end on a good note. So we're gonna start with the cons of interlocking, which you probably may wanna consider before interlocking your hair. Now, when interlocking your hair, it can cause slight dents or dips within your locks, so it will not be a uniformed lock. This can be a con to some because some people like for their locks to be uniform or to look the same or to look extremely neat. For me, I love the character of the dents and the locks that interlocking brings. So I can do a close up so you can get a, a peep of what I'm talking about. So as you can see, Most of my locks have like this dents and grooves. I love that part about them. The second con of interlocking can be that if it's done incorrectly, it can cause holes and or thinness within your locks. In my last video, I talked about the four point method and that's to avoid going in the same direction, causing gaps within your locks. So if you're not comfortable with the process, I would suggest going to a professional because it can create holes, literally holes or weak, thin spots within your locks. And if it gets to a point where it's so thin that it, it'll, it'll break. The next con on the list is the process of interlocking does take longer than palm rolling or twisting your locks. Now, depending upon how many you have, if you have less than 100, maybe 100, 125, it may not take as long as someone who has 250, 300, 450. You feel me? Because, of course, the more locks, the longer any process will take. I do have 294 locks. It can take, depending on how much new growth I have, it can take from a day, an entire eight hour shift, to an entire weekend. It just depends. My, my average is a day and a half, but it's worth it. That leads us into the pros of interlocking. So the first pro would be that your retightened hair lasts longer. You don't have to maintain or re-interlock as often as you would for twisting or palm rolling. In order to keep the neatness, let me say that. And to the second pro of interlocking is that it's sweat proof. Literally, you can work out. You can go to a reggae club and lose your mind. You can go to a Beyonce concert and lose your wig. However, your roots will still be retightened. You can't sweat out this hairstyle. Whereas with other ways of maintaining your locks, if you sweat or work out, it's going to unravel. Whereas with interlocking, you're good to go. You do not need products in order to interlock your hair. You don't have to use beeswax, you don't have to use gel, you don't have to use any product whatsoever. If all you have is water, cool. Even if you don't, and still interlock, but you do not need any products to interlock your hair. You can just go for it. And that's awesome, especially when it comes to buildup, which is the next pro. Your buildup will be minimal because you don't use products to interlock so you don't you you don't put as much into your hair causing it to build up a whole bunch of stuff 
within your locks. I, I don't suffer from that problem at all whatsoever. There's absolutely zero buildup in my hair. Like zero. Like nilch, zilch, nada. Nothing. Nope. Not even a little bit, y'all. The last pro on the list for interlocking your hair is that it is extremely lightweight. Because you don't have to use products, which then leads to zero buildup, you have less weight on your hair. Of course, with any length of hair, you're going to feel something. But I do believe that because I'm not using product, I'm not causing extra weight within my hair. So it should still be lightweight the longer that it gets. I'm hoping. Praying. <laughs> Was this video helpful for you? If so, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave your question below. Make sure you come back. Make sure you set an alarm. Make sure you put this on your grocery list. Make sure you do what's best for you.